For some people this will be a welcome and a welcome to me essentially and other people it'll be a hi, sorry I'm back. I've been a bit lapsed, I think it's been about nine months since I last did a video so I thought why not with the new year approaching let's do what I got for Christmas to kind of ease myself back in and I know that if anyone is like me and is super nosy I'm sorry I'm just watching the dog because he's right under the tripod that you love seeing what other people got for Christmas isn't braggy at all I appreciate everything I get but you know I'm always curious I always like to know what people got so the first thing and the thing that kind of prompted me to get going again with like vlogging and he's just moved it maybe I'll show you him later um yeah the thing that uh encouraged me to kind of get going again is the fact that I got this very camera that I'm filming it on so this is the one I got and I will always forget what it's called Cybershot, Sony Cybershot DSC WX500. Um, my dad did extensive research to try and find me one that is perfect for vlogging, so let's hope that this works. It will, it will. Um, I also got a tripod that you're standing on right now, and I got a light, which is why I look so uh, bright, I guess. Okay, um, so the night before Christmas, everyone seems to be getting Christmas Eve boxes at the moment which I never ever had I think that's a new thing so my mum did like little bags for me her and my husband because she came to stay with us and my dad turned up later which he was meant to turn up the next day but any extra time is always great so in here she put some little glasses and I'll wear these for the rest of this bit not for the whole thing and she got me a a ball blower okay <laughs> it was quite fun um she also got me it's a wonderful life on blu-ray i've never seen this film is that controversial i don't know i don't know how many people have i really wanted to watch it but we didn't get around to it so maybe i'll either i don't know watch it late maybe on christmas on new year's eve not christmas eve um <laughs> a bit late for that um and then she got me a face pack because I love a face pack, it's always good. And then, got some scratch cards. I didn't win, I kept it just so I could show people. I'm not really happy about it, but we'll put that back. So, I'll take these off this one. On to like the main presents, I was very grateful for all those because I always like extra presents. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer. Woo, that's better, sorry, got closer to my face. Um, you'll notice some themes. Because I tend to, if I like something, I will obsess a lot. Um, in my house, it's covered in flamingos. In fact, my niece even said to me the other day, this house is full of flamingos. She's six, so <laughs> she's noticed. Uh, maybe I'll show you them all one day, but here are some of my flamingo gifts. So I got a flamingo clock and I got an inflatable flamingo drinks holder which I am going to take to Barbados with me in May which I'll also be vlogging, the dog's just moved again, sorry let's move that back <laughs> and then I got, I haven't actually taken this out of the wrapper yet because I'm too scared of breaking it and I've been putting everything in a pile until I can put them in their homes um, this will be going in my dressing room I think which is my spare bedroom but I like to call it fancy things look I've just taken it out it's got like a little ring dish. I love it. Got a little flamingo on it. That's how much I love them. Um, and then from my dad, I got, you'll probably see the reflection in this. Oh, there we go. Got it. And it's a mixed media piece and it's gorgeous and it's an original. Oh, I love it so much. So pretty. So I think we're gonna put that in the spare room with all the like light frames, but I kind of want it downstairs, so I'm trying to figure out a way of having it down here. Um, as always, I got lots of like toiletry bits and pieces, but they're extra cool ones. So I got some more face packs, because I love them. Love face packs, I might have one tonight. And then my mum, I don't know if she was kind of joking, but also it's kind of a helpful one. Um, that was the post. Sorry. Um, and that was the dog. 
There we go. Okay, so from my mum, I got... Sorry, a little interruption there from the dog and the post, and he's gonna have a little wander now and probably sniff everything and move everything. Don't you dare, you little git. He's cute, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, from my mum, I'm not sure if she was joking a little bit, but it's kind of helpful as well, because when I'm going away, I'm gonna look really pasty, because it's just my natural skin tone. And I don't mind, I like being pale, but she got me skinny tan, and it's the tan and tone oil, which is always good. And then she got me the mitt as well to go with it. So let's give that one a go. Um, and then I got a foot peeling mask thing as well, which is cool. I like these. So I can be all preened and pampered and pretty. Um, she also got me, it's, it's, I guess uh, once I'll go through, I've got some bath bombs as well because I love bath bombs, but this has just kind of put me onto a different section. But yes, I got some bath bombs as well, and there is a flamingo in that one. And then this one's a little angel. I like to think that my sister-in-law was uh, implying that I'm an angel. We'll go with that, she can't, she can't refute it. <laughs> She'll watch this. And um, yeah, so every year, my mum, she didn't know that I realised but she gets me a JML gift. I don't know if anyone's heard of that. You see it in like supermarkets in the UK. Um, and they're just like really quite admittedly useful things. Um, and she got me, it's not in the packet. She got me the Flawless Finishing Touch ha Facial Hair Remover. <laughs> eh. I've already given it a go. And actually, like I tried it on my hand and things like that. And actually, works it's really cool and they're always really useful gifts i've just dropped something sorry um they're always really useful gifts she's got me in the past what have i had i've had a foot warmer and i've had um oh my goodness oh i had one of the hairbrush straightener things that was really good um i've got it all sorts but they're really really good and if you if you ever doubt actually getting something just do it they're always excellent um yes so i got that and then going with like traditional every year this is the kind of thing i get these two gifts i always get from my dad and he keeps trying to tell me that it's the last year or trying to tell me that he's going to pass it on to my husband it's not going to happen dad sorry so i've got to lean a little bit every year i get a harrods teddy bear i will never be too old for this never this year it's oliver I've got loads. I've got so many. I think I think I've got one from every single year. Oh. I'm gonna run out of space soon, but I'll find more space. I'll buy a bigger house. <laughs> so I'll put Oliver over here. All Christmas Day, just have a little cuddle. When you have a little snooze in the afternoon, I will never be too old for that. I don't care if I'm 27. So, oh, I've got a whole pile over here, and it's gonna get quite. I'm gonna have to stretch over. I also get the Guinness World Records every single year. And I love just flicking through and having a look and seeing who is still in there um, and who's broken new records. I like the weirdest ones. The weirdest ones are cool, but it's just a tradition. I love it. I've got a lot of them as well. <laughs> that started a long time ago as well. Um, so little bits and pieces. I haven't got everything in this pile because some things I've used, um, like a backpack my husband bought me, which I love, and I might get it in a second. Um, but other things I've just kind of put in their places. They've already kind of merged, or I've eaten them. Um, I got, I got a couple of pairs, more of the flamingo theme. I've got a couple of pairs of flamingo socks, always handy. And my friend bought me a beautiful flamingo scarf. I love it. It's so soft. I love it. Um, oh, there's a running theme here. I really love everything. Um, my mum got me stop looking at your phone because who doesn't always look at the phone? And that's got some really, really funny things in it. And I like books like this. I like things you can just flick through and just have a little giggle. And I like a coffee table book as well. Um, I also got an erasable memory pad, memo pad, memory pad, um, memo pad, um, which I'm excited to plug into my computer because I haven't done that yet. I've just been playing with it like um, one of those toys I used to have when I was younger. 
can't remember what they're called. Um, I used to love those. And then I got a little key ring from my auntie. It was glittery. And I, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, when I like something, I like it a lot. So my husband <laughs> has had to binge watch all of Sabrina. I say had to, he enjoyed it. He had to binge watch all of um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina with me. So, I got a t-shirt. <laughs> I love it. I've, I've enjoyed it so much. So much, I can't wait for it to come back. I also did that though, with Riverdale. And you'll see in a minute how that one came came into practice. Um, I also, <laughs> mum and her useful gifts. Oh, is it a pillow? Oh no, it's another foot warmer. This one's not electrical though, so I can just put this on and I can sit wherever. Stuart hates my cold feet as my husband. He hates my cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> He'll still go. <laughs> my, my, this isn't in the box, otherwise I wouldn't be throwing it about so much, but I have wanted, I love LSA, and I've wanted this for ages. I'm a big baker. I love baking. So currently this has got the um, Christmas cake in, but yes, I love it. Anything LSA, I'll have, please, and thank you. <laughs> I also have started knitting. I just, I'm a... I'm a woman of many attempted skills. Let's go with that. So my mum bought me some like knitting accessories. Like I've got some needles, I've got a little book, I've got the essentially bits and pieces and a little basket to keep them in, which is very cute. Cause it's all been all over the house. Um, I knitted Stuart a hat for Christmas, which is Riverdale related, but yeah. <laughs> Let me just get another pile of bits. Oh, it's all falling everywhere. Okay, so my friend made me a beautiful little necklace and it's all sparkly and I love it. It's so pretty, I haven't worn it yet, but I will be because I love it. I've got, <laughs> as soon as Stuart saw me unwrap this, he said it's so you because it's what I say all the time. My friend bought me this notepad because I love any stationery. And it says, can you not? And the person I said that most to, is Stuart, so. <laughs> but I love it. And I like all the kind of speckly bits on the page. It's good. I mean, I'm saying I love it a lot, but it's because I do, because all of them have been tailored to me, essentially, because they're my presents. Um, I, also got, well, this is kind of a shared one for the house. We're a big um, games night kind of house and we love giving weird games a go. And my parents are the kind of parents that you can play things like Cards Against Humanity with. Won't bat an eyelid. So we played Bucket of Doom. I love this and I think if you like a game that's a bit controversial, it doesn't have to be, but it will be. Um, it's the death dodging party game. You basically have some, it's a bit like Cards Against Humanity. You get your cards and you just have to use those items to get out of a situation that someone reads out and then the best one wins. Um, but it's well worth it. Yes, it's so good. Really enjoyed it. Um, my dad made me laugh so hard that I cried. Uh, that's how good it is. Um, so going with the games, my sister in law. I, l I love Obama Llama so much, and I've played it so much that I had to buy the expansion pack because people were getting fed up with playing with me because I knew them all. But I'm just good at rhyming. I've been that good all along. So she got me Santa Banta, which is a Christmas one. We haven't had enough people around to play it yet, though. I'm probably good at this. I like to blow my own trumpet. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Um, my mum also got us some giant playing cards. Stuart is huge on playing cards. We've got so many. This isn't going to fit in the drawer where I keep all the rest of them. So I might just have some like giant games of solitaire. Or maybe like a giant game of stack. <gasps> I hadn't thought of doing a giant card, like a house of cards type thing. Not like, you know what I mean? The card tower. I'm gonna give that a go. I might film it. 
could get eventful. And the paper cuts. Uh, and <laughs> going on to my Riverdale obsession. <laughs> we're a big games household, but we're a massive Monopoly household. We've got all sorts, and I said to Stuart the other day that he's got more than I have because he's got like wrestling, and he's got Simpsons, and he's got Stranger Things. I went through a stage of just buying a Monopoly, so it's my own fault, but I've got the Ipswich one because that's where I'm originally from. And now I've got the Riverdale one. <laughs> I'm so excited. I opened this and I just squealed because I thought he wouldn't get it for me. No one's been around to play it yet. I might just have to play it with him and win. I say that I've only won once and I'm holding on to it. Uh, the other things I got, I 2018 for me has been the year of Cardi B. <laughs> well, for many people, I guess, but I love vinyl. So it was a no brainer really for Stuart, wasn't it? To buy me the Cardi B version of privacy or privacy on vinyl. Just love her. Love her. As a person and just everything. Just everything about her. Uh, so music gifts as well. Stuart has got me tickets to go see 1975. Don't think I have to hold anything back on that one, but yeah, 1975. <laughs> Very excited for that. Maybe I'll film about that. Not them, because I like being in the moment. I'm one of those people that doesn't like filming. And I used to. I used to film it all, but not anymore. No, I'm older. Also, I got a candle as well. I've just now I'm just picking bits that I found. <laughs> there are bits and bits and bobs. This is um, from one of my clients, and it's so nice. Mm, I love candles. She knows that, so thank you very much. Um, also, my table present. We do table presents every year. Um, we bought my parents' ones and then my mum bought ours. Uh, just something to open after the starter. When you do your, we have, we do starters and then crackers. So you get your hats on and then you do your table presents and then it's into the, into the real thick of it with the food. Um, I got a travel document holder, which is really cute. I love it. And because we're going to Barbados and we're hoping to do a lot more traveling this year, it's going to be very handy and she put some dollars in it as well but I've given those to Stuart for safekeeping for all my cocktails that I plan on drinking. Um, yeah. So I'm really pleased about this because it means that I don't have to lose anything. It never normally goes wrong for me but it could. Not on my part anyway. Last year we got, yeah, got stuck in bar- oh what a shame. Oh no it wasn't last year. Oh it was last year because we're still in 2018. I also oh, ooh, have been nagging, and I have no qualms with telling you I've been nagging, Stuart for a fondue set for ages, because I found one in John Lewis that I loved, and he wouldn't let me buy it. You know, all those fondues we have, well we can't because we don't have a fondue maker. Well, now, not only do we have a fondues book, oh yeah, all the different types of fondue of fondue. Now my mum, without even knowing I don't think, unless she did and she's lying to me, got us oh, our own fondue set and it's better than the one I wanted in John Lewis. Ah! Come to ours for fondues of the cheese and the chocolate kind, not at the same time. Not at the same time. Please. <laughs> okay, I'll put that this way. Um, and my last thing to show you is New York on Instagram. Essentially, I think I've got an Instagram account just to look at pictures of New York. I think. <laughs> All of the people I follow are practically just New York accounts. I love it there. I've been four times. Let me know if you want to know more about that. I filmed back in May. This is how long it's been. Back in May, I filmed um, my trip for our anniversary with Stuart to New York for my fourth time there. Uh, so I might put a couple something together and maybe like go through my top tips. 
I don't know, if you want to see that, let me know. But, I just love looking at pictures of it. And I want to go back. There is never too many, there are never enough times that you can go to New York. So, if you're thinking of going, please do it. Think of me. Um, one last, I'll show you the thing I got from Stuart as well. He got me a backpack. I've wanted one for so long. And it's so cute. It's so cute. I've already used it several times. And in here, I've just, <laughs> just realised, I've got some more makeup bits as well. This is, oh, this is part of a set, a sleek set that my mother and father-in-law got me. It came with a nail varnish as well. These are things I've used a lot. And my dad also to go with my camera and my tripod and my light. He got me a vlogging 101. So you can expect big things from me. Big, big things. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, there will be. Um, yeah, so that's from Stuart. And I've just spotted my other Riverdale gift. As the final, final thing. I can't get that. Well, you can probably see it by now. My mum... <laughs> My mum got me a red wig so I can be Cheryl. I'm, I've am i agreed with my friend and Stuart that I'm more a Betty. But you can never not want to be Cheryl. Maybe I'll put that on one day. I did take a picture of me on Christmas Day when I sent it to my friend. But I'll put it on properly. I'll do the whole shebang. So that is... Basically everything I got for Christmas, all the little bits. Again, I'm not bragging about anything. I'm so grateful for everything. You can tell by the fact I love everything. But I'm really, really grateful. Um, I've been sport rotten. But I would love to know what your favourite thing that you got for Christmas was. Um, but also, if you really like this video, give it a like. And if you're feeling extra generous, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm also, I've started an Instagram this time where I'll just like post bits and pieces and like when I've uploaded that's at hey bunty and I'll put a little link somewhere for you maybe in the little description but other than that that's me I'm going to upload a video on New Year's Day talking about everything I want to do in 2019 and maybe a bit of reflection over 2018 I did that that's how I started this channel last well this year early this year and if you haven't watched any of those videos, go back, you'll get kind of a feel of why I started it. But this time, going full force. You expect big things. I'm not gonna, yeah, definitely expect big things. I'll do it. We're gonna, I'll talk about that in the next video. But let's, let's just enjoy this. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs>